Dear Diary, when adding a new scene in OBS, don't forget to add your microphone. That way you don't have to record everything all over again. Yes, how do dearest viewer and welcome back to my little corner of the YouTubes. This is a new playlist that I've created called The Sunday Stupid. Um, this is where I take a bit more of a light-hearted look at the stupid around the interwebs. Um, a bit more light-hearted than the Wacky Wednesday videos, uh, but they are still being done, the Wacky Wednesday videos, so please check out, uh, look out for those and check them out and like, share, subscribe, etc, etc, etc. I don't need to explain it to you guys because you're all clever, apart from any flat earthers watching this and young earth creationists with the initials MP. Now, before we get stuck into today's video, I must, must, must know what that oval shaped object is that comes out of a chicken's ass. This is an egg. Thank you, Mr. Warrior. We need a laugh, don't we? And one of the things that I find funny the most in life is two women going down a water slide and smacking themselves into the ground face first. <laughs> and there's probably nothing funnier than seeing a woman get smacked in the face with a volleyball. Go! <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we're going to have a look at a few Karens now. <laughs> oh God, these tickle me. These really, really tickle me. If you don't know what a Karen is, is your Google broke? Where have you been living for the past few years? Anyway, we're going to have a look at some Karens. Um, this first Karen is a rather rotund Karen. Uh, she should probably leave a car at home and start walking and eat less chips. Uh, a bit like me. Your phone! No, what are you doing? Give me your phone! I'm going to move my car right now. Get no. out of my car. Do you think you can... Park this poster in my car and get away with it? There's literally room for you to walk. No, we're going to stay right here until the cops come. I'm kidding. <laughs> yes, uh, this second Karen believes that um, some cyclist has gone past, gone past a car and actually scratched the car. And she is going berserk. Even though there's no scratch on the car. Final Karen seems to have a problem with short people. Let me just see where your daddy lives. Come on, let's do it. Little boy, get over here. Look how short you are. My goodness. I know. Are you going to grow up anymore? A, what? Are you going to grow up anymore? I don't know. How about you? Let's go. Move it out. I saw you breaking in over here. We didn't break in, actually. I was watching you. But did we break in? No, we get didn't. Get off at private property. Why are you like this? Like, move it on. Because you don't live here. You don't deserve to be up here. Get on. Let's go. How do you know I don't live here? You don't live in this f***ing house. Yeah. Move on, little boy. Why do you keep calling me little boy? I have a name. look how little you are. No, it's the turn of a couple of flat earthers. Well... A couple of pretend flat earthers, if you will. Um, this first one is a tweet from Phuket Word. Um, every time I see one of his tweets, I write underneath, define it down. Because this moron, um, this poor, I'm convinced he's a poor. Um, this idiot just will not define down. And he believes that down is south. Even though I've asked him to define it, he still won't define it. But he believes South is down. Let's have a look at one of his tweets. So, question. Well, hashtag Flat Earth. Uh, um, what's the consensus? Is the horizon, assumed to be curvature, a bulge up or a drop down? What? You stupid. Stupid little man, the horizon is caused by Earth curve. It is not Earth curve, it is caused by Earth curve. It doesn't bulge up, because no matter where you are on a globe, the curve will always be away from you. It won't bulge up and then come down. It just curves away from you, no matter where you are. And I've explained this to him. And do you know, funnily enough, he hasn't replied. Oh well. Now, the second tweet that we're going to have a look at is by Mr. Howard George Stirrup. Um, he is a conspiracy whack job. He believes everything that he is told, basically, if 
it goes against the general consensus. Like he believes the earth is flat. He believes in every conspiracy theory going, despite being proven wrong so many, so many times. Now, we're going to have a quick look at one of his tweets. And here we go. Howard George stood up. Um, yeah, he likes tagging loads of different people, even though some of these people have said, Luke, don't tag me in your tweets because you're an ass." So, it says, can you provide a real photograph of the entire UK? Or are you trying to deflect from the topic because you cannot? Hmm. Well, Mr. Stirrup, let's have a look, shall we? And as if by magic, here we are, Mr. Stirrup. As requested, a photo of the UK from space, as taken by Tim Peake. Now, if you're going to start screaming CGI and all the rest of the usual flatter nonsense, um, please provide evidence that this image is CGI. Put up or shut up. Now, our final piece of stupid comes from, yes, you've guessed it, Matt Powell, who has a giant inflatable banana in his backyard that he calls Dr. Peel. Take it away, Matt. So one of my favorite proofs of the Flood of Noah is the fact that we find 10,000 adult myosaur in the Dinosaur Peninsula. Now the Dinosaur Peninsula is located in the center of the United States. And so it is directly away from water on all sides. There is no water around the Dinosaur Peninsula. The water is states away. The dinosaur, what? The only evidence that I can find of a dinosaur peninsula is on Young Earth Creationist websites. And that's it. I can't find any scientific paper that mentions this so-called dinosaur peninsula. And if it does exist once millions and millions and millions of years ago, there was water on either side. So it's little wonder that you find land-dwelling dinosaurs in this so-called peninsula. <sighs> Matt, stop pumping out the stupid. So that's it, the very first edition of The Sunday Stupid. I really do hope that you've enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. I absolutely love doing this. Um, please join me on the next one. Uh, don't forget Wacky Wednesday videos as well. And don't forget TV licensing videos as well. I'm going to start doing a lot more of those in the coming weeks. So thank you very much for joining me. And ta -ra!